It's really important for us as Black women to pay attention to the toll that the pandemic, as well as continuing acts of racism, really can play on our mental health. Black women have been on the forefront of not only um, balancing the home, but also tipping the scales politically, um, making sure the babies are okay, while also making sure the household is okay, and also making sure that we're okay at work. So things like sleep disturbances or decreases in mood, all of those are significant things that we need to pay attention to. If we can just take a moment to breathe and just kind of settle down, take a moment, five seconds, 10 seconds, it actually opened the pathways to our thinking brain. And once we get there, we can think more strategically about what needs to be done. Some of the most important steps I think that Black women can take to really take care of their mental health, both in their personal lives and in their professional lives, is really paying attention to boundary setting. And so it's really important to, you know, to pay attention to where you feel like you're giving too much or overextending, because that can lead to resentment and feeling like you really don't have anything left to give. I also think that it's really, really important for us to do a better job of asking for and then allowing people to show up and help. I think if there's a silver lining to come out of this, we've gone from, um, no, that's just for people who are a little crazy, if you will, right? To going, you know what? I think if I were to like pair with a coach or a therapist, a mental health professional, what that person is gonna help me do is just to be the best version of myself that I can possibly be. We have come a long way in breaking down the stigma that has been associated with mental health, but I do think that there is more work to be done. And I think that a lot of that work looks like us being courageous to share when we are not doing so well and affirming people when they actually do reach out and talk with a therapist, because we know that when other people share their stories, it makes it easier for others to come behind them and walk into that space as well. Having a black woman to hold our hands and go, sis, I got you. I got you. I understand. I know what you're going through is just the gift that we'll keep on giving. Thank you, black women. Thank you, black women. Thank you, black women.